Hi everybody! So welcome to another Alaskan fruit and veggie haul video here with Miss Stace guys. Yeah, yes. We love shopping for health. I know I do. I love being raw. I love being low fat raw vegan. It's amazing. And so this round you guys is very exciting because autumn is upon us now and the seasons are changing and that means the fruits are changing. And that means if you are close with the changing fruits of the season, you know autumn brings figs. I am a fig fanatic. I don't know who else out there is a fig fanatic like Miss Stace guys. I don't know, figs are one of my top favorite fruits. They are amazing. So I got lots of figs there. So let's go ahead and get started, guys. So I shopped at my co-op market and Fred Meyers um, because I don't have no Trader Joe's or Whole Foods markets like a lot of you guys do. So um, when I go to my co-op market, this is the bag that I bring with me. I fill it full. I use reusable bags there from my grocery store. And so at my co-op market, they only had four different types of varieties of figs. So of course I got two one pint containers of each, of course, you gotta try them all. Um, I have had these ones before and I love the Adriatic figs, those deep red ones, but they didn't have them this year um, or right now. But I also put in an order for one case of Calamerna figs that's a week and a half out. So I at least got my order in for one for a whole case just for myself, which is wonderful. But um, I got two one pint containers of Calamerna figs. These taste like a honey scone fruit. These are absolutely delectable, you guys. Oh, Calamerna figs are one of my favorite figs too, along with the Adriatics. But um, I got black mission figs, I got Kadota figs, and I got brown turkey figs. And mm, when you have a nice good fig, perfectly ripe fig, you know what I'm raving about, okay? You know, okay? Figs are amazing. And then I got um, Rainier cherries. These are about one of the best cherries ever, if you ask me. And then of course, I got dark, um, the dark black sweet cherries here. And then of course, a variety of mangoes also. Can you guys see that? Sorry about the lighting. Elsie's gotta make an appearance, there she is. And so we got six mangoes that have to ripen up pretty good there. I got four white peaches, three yellow yellow peaches because peaches are kind of, they're mm, kind of, I kind of peached myself out, I guess, because um, we're having the um, regular, our, our, all the figs are coming in this season. So we're getting different fruits. So kind of going lighter on the peaches. I got my apricots. Finally, there was enough there. So I got a lot of apricots and then sun gold kiwis. These are those golden kiwis. It's a hairless kiwi. It tastes like lemon cookie and lemon pie. It's delectable. So I filled a whole bag full of those and they are organic. And then um, I got dragon fruit, five dragon fruits, because I want to have my my um, cookies and cream dragon fruit smoothie shake so I got five of those and they they really have to ripen because you have to let them the little flags on them uh, turn brown before they're ripe and then they have cotton candy grapes in the store oh, these are so delightful so I got two they seriously taste like cotton candy I got two two bags of those and then I got dates for my dressings. I got, um, let's see, they're regular. Elsie likes to chew on the greens of the corn, of course. While I'm doing this, she always does. Um, and that's, a, that's okay. You need your greens too there, sweetheart. Um, so we got three one pound, uh, one pound packs of Medjool dates, one Deglet Nora. And then I also ordered um, 32 ounces, which is two pounds of Sukari dates from amazon.com. So those are on their way. Um, but usually I like to have these dates for my dressings. So it's just, they're there in my stash for a while. Two lemons, of course, for my dressings, and then an orange heirloom tomato for my dressings. Um, a nice large um, container of coconut water. This is the best I can do, you guys, is the Zico coconut water. So, and then, oh, these tomatoes have been absolutely so tasty. Oh my gosh. They're from my co-op market. They're locally grown and they're, it's like an heirloom cherub tomato. And I got a bunch in my fridge too, but I had to pick up another one because they are just so good to eat all on their own, of course. 
And then I've got, um, I've got three, I got six corn on the cobs for my um, cheesy cinnamon corn dressing, which I love so much at the moment, and I have been for quite some time now. Um, so that's the fruit and veggie haul stash there, guys. And all in all, this whole haul all together cost me roughly $180, 180 to $200 there. Um, but if you guys want me to mention the prices individually uh, for about how expensive it, expensive it is up here in Alaska, just let me know, guys. It just kind of prolongs the video. It makes a long video, and um, so I don't want the videos to go on too long for you. But if you guys really want to hear the prices of each item that I pay, I most certainly can do that for you guys. Um, but I do pay... I do buy the expensive fruits, of course. So the cotton candy grapes, the figs, mangoes, dragon fruits, and then these um, sun gold kiwis. They're always the more expensive type fruits because they're not the most um, common fruits in the store, you know. But I, I invest in my health because I want to, and I love to, and I want variety, and it's good to have variety and to experience all the different types of fruits out there in the world because there's tons. It's incomprehensible. Seriously, it's incomprehensible at the different types of fruits and vegetables there are on this planet. You should never be bored eating raw vegan, you guys. You should never be bored. It's always fun, exciting invigorating and so darn tasty okay so i'll stop babbling here guys i'll let you guys go that's my fruit and veggie haul stash there remember to love being raw you guys put a big old smile on your face today i hope i did that for you guys and i will see you guys next video oh and just real quick is um uh, all my greens if you're wondering well, where's the greens miss days well in the summertime you guys and into the fall I have, I use the garden for the herbs and the cucumbers and all the mixed greens. So those come free from the garden. Awesome. Okay, I'll let you guys go now, okay? See you next video, you guys. Bye-bye.